Hi everyone. So it's Thursday today and we are going to get started with our English session by having a little look at some vocabulary that we were becoming more familiar with yesterday. So you should be able to see three pictures up on your screen with three keywords as well, which we've been exploring this week. So here you can see this word, which I'm just going to circle for you here. And this word is turkey. Your term? Turkey. So a turkey is a type of bird, okay? It's a type of farm bird, it lives on the farm. And we said that some people eat it with their roast dinners. Okay, so here you can see a picture of a roast turkey that people have on their dinners at special times of year sometimes. We also had this word in the middle here. Okay, and we were looking at the noun of this word. So this word is shield. Okay, so you can see on the picture here, we've got a knight and what I'm surrounding now in my purple highlighter pen is the shield. Okay, so you can get your shield up like this and your shield here will protect anybody from getting you, okay, from hurting you. So your shield is what you can use to protect yourself, like armour, okay, if you're in a battle, for example. And the third word which I'm circling is a submarine. Can you say that? Well done. So a submarine, which we've explored quite a bit because of our last book, is the type of vehicle that goes underneath the sea or underneath the ocean, and it can explore all the different fish and wildlife that is down there. And people use it to travel as well to get from one place to another um, without being seen, which is quite, quite exciting. So we've got a turkey here, shield, and submarine. So on the board here, I've got those three words, turkey, submarine, and shield. And I've got lots and lots of pictures which you can see, okay? Now, some of these pictures are pictures of turkeys, some of them are pictures of submarines, and some of them are pictures of shields. And what I would like you to do is I'd just like you to have a few minutes with the people at home going through and you can either do one of two things. You can point to the screen and tell me what the item is, or you can move it. So for example, you might either point to this object here and say, this is a turkey. Okay, so you've pointed to it, or you can start to pop them in the correct group. So if I moved all these down here at the bottom, like so, then I'd put all the turkeys underneath here. Okay, so I'd have a look, see if there's another turkey, etc. Pop underneath there. Would this one go under there? Nope, because that's not a turkey. Hopefully you've said that's a shield. So that would go under there. Okay, so pause the video, have a little bit of a discussion about what these different objects are and where you will put them. And we're going to go through them in a second. Okay. So pause it now if you haven't finished that task but if you had just carry on with me and join in so if we had a look at the turkey you should have this picture and this picture underneath because remember we said turkey was a farm bird here we go and we've got those ooh, big red floppy necks which always freak me out a little bit and for submarines we should have these pictures and then these for the shields so well done if you got those correct. And I did these here before just in case I needed some help. Okay, so well done for getting those right at home. So we're going to have a little look today at starting to write our fact files, which is very, very exciting. So this is a longer written outcome today, okay? So an extended piece of writing. So you'll need a pencil and a pen to be doing your super writing. And I want to see from these pieces of work that you're sending in, that you've got that beautiful handwriting that we have in class, that you've got those beautiful finger spaces and all that fabulous punctuation. So those capital letters and those full stops, please make sure you're having a go at doing these at home when you're sending this in, okay? So yesterday, what you hopefully have done is gathered lots of information to go underneath your subheadings. So these were my three subheadings from the other day. So I had, what do astronauts wear? What do astronauts eat? And how do astronauts travel in space? 
And what I spent some time doing yesterday was gathering that information. And hopefully you really enjoyed watching those videos that I showed you and you found out lots and lots of facts because I definitely, when I looked at those for the first time, found out lots of information about what it was like to be an astronaut. So I'm hoping that you found it just as exciting as I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go back through and just share with you some of the information that I found. So I found out that astronauts wear helmets, they have spacesuits, oxygen tanks, because they can't breathe oxygen out in the atmosphere up on the moon or in space. They have space boots or moon boots. And I also found out about what they eat. And we shared a little bit um, about this yesterday was that they were having dried food um, so that it doesn't get into all the machines. Tortilla wraps instead of bread. I watched a little video on that. It was quite interesting. Um, they drank water, but when they squeeze out of the tube, it comes out in like a droplet, if you can remember and watch those videos. And they do have to rely on quite a lot of food out of a tube or dried food, which they then add water to, which I can imagine tastes a bit strange compared to what we're used to on our lovely meals that we're cooked at home. Um, we also, well, I also was having a look at how astronauts travel in space. So I was looking at them traveling in rockets, in moon buggies, and that other animals went up first before humans did. Okay, so your three subheadings and your information that you gathered might be slightly different to what I gathered, but that's okay that we've all got different ideas. But we do need to make sure that we're using this to write our own pieces of writing today. So you don't need to look anywhere else for these facts now or look anywhere else for this information because this is where we're going to be getting all our information from, from our fact files. So we're going to start today by looking at one key question that we're going to write. So we're going to write three sections of our fact files. Um, so over three days, we'll have written our fact file completely. So today, what you need to do is you need to choose one of the sections that you are going to write. I've highlighted here, as you can see, the first section from my planning grid that I've got. So I'm going to be including what astronauts were. So that's the section I'm going to be writing today. And so we need to look at that subheading. We're going to then decide on the facts that we want to include, say the sentences we want to include, write them, and then make sure the punctuation is there. Okay, and I've got a bit of a challenge for you to do as well, which I will share with you at the end. But today we're just doing one super section. So, this is what yours may look a little bit like at home. I've got some key words up here, which you may find useful to help with your spellings. For example, I've got astronaut, rocket, space station, animal, countries, food, moon, like the dog, first, youngest, train and travel. Okay, so some key words. And I've also got a map with some phonic sounds on, which I'll show you how to use when there's some words that I'm not sure of. And I need to use those to help me with my spellings. So first of all, this is going to be my one section that I'm writing about today. Okay, so make sure you've got those pe pencil and paper ready to do your writing in a second. So I'm gonna need to look back. So my subreddit is what do astronauts wear? OK, and if you can remember at the start of my question, I have a question word and it needs a capital letter. So what do astronauts wear? And at the end of my question, hopefully you've remembered I need a question mark. So because that is the subheading, I'm going to underline that so we know that that is what that section is about. OK, but the rest of it isn't going to be underlined. And throughout this section, because I've already done this planning grid, I'm going to be clicking back and forth to be getting some facts off this part here and then using it to move forward and to write my extract from my fact file. So let's have a little look back at what I can say. So as you can see, looking on here, I can say that they wear lots of equipment to help them in space. So I think before I say anything specific, I want to make a general point to say what my section is about. OK, so we call this a topic sentence. So what is your section section about? So I could say that astronauts wear lots of different 
items to help them in space. Hmm, space. Can we sound out space? How would we say it? Sp a space. So it sounds like we should say it like this. Sp and we know the diagraph A, which is here on my word map if I highlight it. Here. Hmm. But as you can see on the whole of this, there is a lot of or a lot of A spellings. OK, and actually, when I write space, it isn't like S -sp a space like this. It's actually a split diagram. So it has an E at the end and a C in the middle. OK, and it makes this C go from a K to a S sound. So let me check my sentence is correct there. So I've got astronauts wear lots of different items to help them in space. Right, I'm going to click back now and check my other facts. So I could say about spacesuits and helmets. So let me think of my sentence first. I could say they wear spacesuits and helmets. They wear spacesuits and helmets. Right, six words. At the start of my sentence, don't forget I need a capital letter. So they wear space suits and helmets. Helmets. It helmets. Now we had this the other day, and it wasn't. It makes an i sound, but it's actually an e. They wear space suits and helmets. And what comes at the end of my sentence? Full we'll stop. Well done. So I'm going to check that now, see how that sounds. Astronauts wear lots of different items to help them in space. They wear spacesuits and helmets. Hmm. Right, I'm going to challenge myself now because on the bottom of here today, I've given us a bit of a challenge. And this says to include a did you know question. Some of you might be thinking, what is a did you know question? Well, a did you know question starts with did you know? So I'm going to have a little look back at my facts and I've already included about helmets. I've already included about spacesuits. Ooh, what have I not included? Oxygen tanks. Ah. So I could include something about oxygen tanks. So why do the wear use oxygen tanks? Well, they have to wear oxygen tanks because there isn't any oxygen in space. So could I say then, did, did you know that Astro, that there isn't, isn't any oxygen in space? Let me check that. Did you know that there isn't any oxygen in space? What have I missed there? Ah, uh, I've missed a capital letter off the beginning and I've missed a question mark off the end. There we go. Did you know that there isn't any oxygen in space? Then I could answer my question. So what do astronauts have? Because there aren't any, isn't any oxygen in space. Well, they wear the oxygen tanks. So we could say here, astronauts were oxygen tanks in space to help them breathe. They also wear moon boots to help them walk along the surfaces. I might even use an adjective there and say bumpy or Bumpy, uneven surfaces. Oh, I spelled that word very incorrectly there. Okay, so let's have a little check and make sure I've got everything I need. I'm going to remove these lines here because they're sort of blocking my lovely work that you can see. There we go. Great. So let me check and see what I've done today and whether it is correct. So I needed to include a subheading on my section of my fact file today and I chose what do astronauts wear and here I can see that I have got a capital letter at the start of my question, a question word and a question mark at the end. So I'm 
doing okay so far, I think. So then what I needed to do was I needed to decide on the fact I was going to include and then say it, write it and punctuate it. So let's check. Astronauts wear lots of different items to help them in space. Okay, so that makes sense. I've got a capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end. So I've decided on it, said it, written it and punctuated it. They wear spacesuits and helmets. Yeah, I've got my fact, my capital letter and my full stop. And then here I've got, did you know that there isn't any oxygen in space? That was my challenge question here, wasn't it? Okay, so I've got my did you know question, which is great. Astronauts wear oxygen tanks in space to help them breathe. They also wear moon boots to help them walk a log. Oh, this is why we have to check it because I've not spelled everything correctly there along the bumpy, uneven surfaces. And I've missed an F off surfaces as well. Fabulous. So this is why, remember, we always say we need to go back and check through our writing because sometimes we miss out key letters or keywords and punctuation and we just need to double check everything is there. Okay, so that is my section that I've done today. So out of all three of the sections, you should have written up just one section today. Okay, so I've just done one. So I've got this for you to have a little go at doing at home. So you've got your keywords here if you need them and you've got your sound mats if you need them as well. So remember we had this one, it was A, E, I, O, U and so forth. Okay, so please do use these today. So this is an extended piece of writing. So I do expect about four or five sentences minimum for this piece of writing today. I do want to see your beautiful handwriting and do as well also want to see you've got great capital letters and full stops and putting all this knowledge together then what we've been building up over the past few weeks because remember Astrid wants a great fact file that we can send out to everybody so they all know lots of information about space. I know you've not written necessarily about what I've written about so yours possibly won't be about what astronauts wear but I know you're going to have lots and lots of great information and facts to share with me. So I cannot wait to see all the things you send through to me today. Good luck. Make sure you're sat smartly at your desk as you're doing your super writing. And don't forget to send me your fact files across. I will see you tomorrow where we get to continue this. Bye.